2005 Smart 44 Brabus. So that's the 177 brake horsepower, 1.5 turbocharged petrol. Um, it's got a 1.5 litre by Mitsubishi in it, the turbo on it. So they did about a 130 brake version in the Mitsubishi Colt Rally Art, um, but 177 in the Brabus, so quite a lot quicker. Um, we'll start by having a look at the bodywork. If we start on this front driver's quarter, you'll see there's a little bit of sort of dry patch in the paint just here on the arch. So it could do with a really good polish. Um, it's a nice easy job actually, it would make a huge difference. It's got plenty of shine to it, but good polish would make a big difference. Going down this side, nice and clean going along there. Like I say, good clean and polish would make a big difference. Got a bit of a scratch that goes, sort of starts here on the rear quarter and goes along to the, on, on the rear passenger door. Um, four aftermarket alloys on them. They've all got Toyo Proxy tyres on, so obviously a nice expensive tyre, sign of good ownership. But the, the wheels themselves could do with a, with a, with a refurb, as you can see. Um, now on these, the windscreen, rear screen and main glass on the side is glass. These ones are, are plastic, you can see, just by prodding them. Um, but these have sort of dried out and cracked. Um, so they either want probably a polished back, I would think, or... Um, I mean, they're fine on the inside, it's the outside really, they're sort of dried off. Like you see a headlight do in a hot country. Um, there will be a solution for it, whether it's to replace them or, or try and polish them back. You can see where there's been a sticker um, and that hasn't happened there. So it's, it, it's probably a common fault by all, all accounts if that's the only bit of plastic window on it. Round onto the rear. It's all nice and clean there. Nice and clean on the, on the rear tail light um, and round this sort of window aperture. If you have a look on the roof, you can see that's all nice and straight. It is um, a glass roof in this, as you can see if we have a look. From here, so you've got two windows, and again, this front one is plastic, and that's sort of done the same thing. But it's sort of if you if you feel it, it's dry to the touch. So I imagine a polish would make quite a big difference. To be fair, we do have a bit of a scuff just here on the corner there, very faint one. It is nice and black though. Quite often these things are silver, and again, obviously same same thing with the window on this side. Rear section on the roof is fine. That's glass, um, but the front, I'm guessing, to bring the weight down is is, is composite of some sort. Again, like I say, wheels need a good refurb, and you've got some stone chips down the bottom on this sill. Going along this side, you've got a couple of little marks here and there, but it's, you know, it is nearly a 20 year old black car. It's going to show some marks here and there, some stone chips on the bottom there as well. And then round on the front. So while you're polishing those windows, give the headlights a good polish as well, because um, they have gone milky. That's a nice, easy job to do. That makes a big difference. And then we've got some sort of chips and cracks in the paint on that front splitter from stones and things like that um, but actually it would clean up really well a good detail would make a massive difference on this car um, and they are getting very rare now little pocket rocket i guess and it's but again it's built by make so well built well specced so you've got leather leather seats in the front got your Bra brabus logos on all the seats front and rear and then you've got this lovely glass roof and we've got the blinds and everything in there which pull out if you pull them properly it's me pulling it out wonky so there you go, quite quite difficult to do with camera and one hand. Manual car as well, they did this awful sort of semi-automatic version, but manual's the only one. And then your command and everything on here is um, Mercedes-Benz anyway, so you'll notice the same thing in a C-Class or an E-Class or an SL, um, which is quite a good unit, nice and robust. Heated seats, what else we've got, electric windows, aircon, which actually is nice and cold. Thank God today, because it's absolutely boiling. And it's 104,000 miles on this one. If you check the description, we'll detail what we've got in the way of service history and things like that. All nice and clean in here. No sign of any real wear at all. We completely skipped the driver's seat though, so you'll have to excuse and we'll go back to that. But tiny little bit of wear down the bottom. Very little at all, really, for the mileage. Nice and clean. Quite a small boot on these, but it's definitely bigger than the normal smart cars. You can get a golf bag in there and things like that. All nice and clean in there. And then you've got this load cover should you want it it does pull all the way down or you can drop it back further again and have it open just to cover things off but to be fair with that tint on no one's seeing in there anyway rear bench on this side all nice and clean again you get your Brabus logos all the way along which is a nice touch backs of the seats are good no sort of kicks or scratches or any marks or anything like that and a good door card and a passenger seat again apart from needing a good clean it's all good, no real signs of any wear or anything like that. Pull the bonnet and have a look under there. So like I said, it's a 
uh, four cylinder turbo by Mitsubishi. And again, in here, all nice and clean. From what my limited knowledge of these things, it looks to be relatively standard. Heat shield and everything's still there. We'll, uh, we'll get it started up. Key will help the job, wouldn't it? So there you go, on the button straight away. Started it and moved it a few times since it got here. It always starts, so I'm quite happy. Nothing coming out the back there. Doesn't seem to throw out any smoke under acceleration or anything like that. So there you have it, 2005 Smart 4.4 Brabus. If you've got any more questions, please get in touch. Thank you.